Austin doesn't see the infinite loop. I can equip instant speed, Scoo, with the Shikari. I want to see how he blocks first before we move gear around. Shikari lets us do all sorts of bonkers things, Skew. We You wait to see how the opponent blocks before you move things around. There's more to it than that, Skew. There's actually more to it than that. There's a couple different ways to get there, but there's more to it than that. So let's move the collar to the uh, Stonehaven. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm moving the collar to Kemba for more cats. All we need to do is just give him a boost. I just want him to deal more damage. I mean, I can put him to two here. I can put him to two if I move the collar. This seems fine. This seems fine. It's the changeling equipment. That's all that it does. It's really, really bad. It just it makes the creature all creature types, Austin. It's the changeling equipment. What's up, Kooky Kooky? What's better than eating breakfast and watching magic? I, I don't know. I think we just pass it back. Now that we have Shikari on the table, I can upkeep, put everything on Kemba in response to any removal. It's fine. This card is actually... should should be used more. I'm surprised nobody's tried to build like a Death and Taxes in Modern with Greaves and Shikari because it makes your deck immune to removal. Basically. Unless they have like, I don't know, something very specific like uh, Static Shock. They're not Static Shock. Um, sudden Shock. They need like split second removal to stop Shikari, because it's instant speed, move Greaves to whatever they were trying to target, and then you just give the creature Shroud. Yeah, you need something like Sudden Shock. Yeah, I don't know if Shikari catches on. Anyway. So he's just hitting us for a bunch. But I'm not dead. It was only like on 10 counters, right? Too bad we can't wear the Greaves, right? Too bad I can't put it on my... He puts us to 17. Wipe away, Verdict. Terminus. Uh, Verdict play gets... Yeah, Verdict sees play in, in, um, in Modern for sure, but... Okay, so what the heck was going on over there that we want? Like, he had a lot of removal. I'm interested in another Shikari, or just core Firewalkers that are naturally resistant to the red removal. If we're going to run the other Shikari, we add the other Greaves. Ratchet Bomb seems gross, as in good. Um, Dispatch is interesting. Exile the Hangerback. Uh, Disenchant is interesting. Um, all of these are considerations. Whoops. Well, I'll just put them right in. I don't think we have to use the Infinite Loop to beat this guy. Godsend's not for the matchup. Feast and Famine's not for the matchup. The only piece of... The only sword I would keep is maybe Fire Ice and maybe Sword of Light and Shadow. Probably just keep Sword of uh, Fire Ice... And cut some number of... We'll cut at least one stalactite, and we'll cut one collar. I might not cut the entire combo, but I'll see what I can do. Doesn't wheel break up hanger back, says Murray, does it? Yeah, Shikari Greaves is infinite protection from targeted removal. Oh, wow, stupid. Why are you cursing in my chat, dude? Keep it clean. Keep it clean, dude. What are you doing? What are you doing? Alright, so we need to make four cuts. I appreciate Overmaster you directing my attention there. I like the Ratchet Bomb. I do. He had a lot of removal. I think I think adding more Greaves is correct. Nerdy says Wheel's gonna prevent the hanger back and the disciple from working properly. Okay. We can try it.
Uh, are there any other infinite combos than pod collar stalactite? Um, there are things you can do. I mean, we can cut the combo. That's sometimes what we do in these kind of matchups. If we have a lot of sideboard cards we want to bring in, you have to cut the combo. And then that also means trimming uh, mortar pods. I can maybe trim one Basilisk Collar. That's a lot of collars. I mean, yes, I do want to see it, though. The other sword we could run is just probably Light and Shadow, just for the recursion. Although, he had a lot of targets for the Mortar Pod. Let's go with Mortar Pod still. Let's still run three Mortar Pods. Like, he had plenty of targets for it. We had about four or five infinite loops in the... Uh, well, it's, it's called Tasty in the Aristocats now. Overmaster. This hand seems sweet. Turn one steel shape. Yeah, this hand seems sweet. We, I mean, we get to draw a card immediately off the pure steel. Even if he has removal, like I can play, I get to play Paradise Mantle before he gets priority. I mean, obviously you can always counter pure steel, but that's not what the opponent's doing. Looks like he's just got a lot of red removal. Maybe there's dispatch in there too. We'll see. Flux says how many equipment are left in the deck now. Oh, still a lot. I didn't. I, I rarely trim the mantles now, these days. I usually stay on at least three. Paradise mantle. All right, bobble. Okay. Bobble. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now we have like draw two, just sweet. All right. So what should I steel shape for? Probably greaves. Could be greaves. Could be Greaves. I'd like the collar. It might actually be Mortar Pod because he's probably going to toast my Pure Steel. At least having Mortar Pod would mean I have another threat that I can put the Basilisk Collar on. Granted, it would be... It, it really needs some other equipment first before this is actually a threat, but... Or you can just snap off Fire Ice, you know? There's three Greaves in now, so there's a decent chance we draw it, naturally. I think it's either Pod. I don't know, he's on zero cards. He's drawn off the top now. Yeah, we'll go with the Greaves. So go. He is indeed Hellbent, yes. Okay. He might not crack both Bobbles because he needs to keep Metalcraft. We'll see if he cracks both. He will crack both. I think it's correct to crack both, by the way. There's a pretty good chance if his deck is built this way that he'll find another artifact for sure. Like, for example, we didn't see the bobbles last game. Chromatic. Huh. Okay, well, I get to draw like a million. I think I'm going to do so. Is he tapped out? Paradise. Or re recycling the paradises. Paradise. Paradise. If I draw Mox here, we get to do some really nutty things, but the odds are low that we draw the Mox. Paradise. Draw another card. Yes. Ooh, we drew the mortar pod. Okay. Um, so we'll move this to him. <laughs> I can move all of them. <laughs> Why not? By the way, this gets really nutty on, on Moto because each Paradise Mantle lets it tap for uh, different colors. He's going to kill it, by the way. But still, that was sweet. <laughs> I can draw cards too. I was hoping for the Mox Diamond though, so we could have played the uh, Basilisk Collar. I assume you're killing this, right? I 
can't imagine he won't pol uh, spire at Paul Bond. That's cool. I, I can't imagine he's not killing the Paladin. There's no way you don't kill Paladin here, dude. You already know that I searched up the Greaves. There you go. What's nice is we found another creature. Disenchant. Okay. I still think I'm playing pod and putting a mantle on pod. And then saying go. Gives us me gives me access to more mana for next turn. At a relatively low cost. I mean, if he kills the germ, we can shoot him. Or shoot a threat. So you got one, two, three, four, five mana next turn. Yeah, Ewok, this is the hunter ticket version of Skill Clamp, which was formerly known as Tasting the Aristocats, but now it's known as... Uh, well, he didn't do very much over there. Okay. So we play Stonehaven. If he has removal for the germ, he'll shoot the germ in response to the stone. Oh, okay. Then you play Greaves. I mean, my assumption is his hand is just a whole bunch of removal. Exactly where the Shikari is nice. Oh, Shrapnel Blast, okay. Uh, do you want to put the Greaves onto the Germ? Yes and no. Um, yes, because you might have another piece of removal and then I'm kind of sad, but no, because there isn't another threat and then I can't move other pieces of gear. I'm just going to play Caller, so you go. What's up, Bookworm? No, the chroma key is just giving me hell. No, it's the same camera. There you go. It's just giving me hell. Yes, you, you know. Same old, same old. It's probably the enchantment. Yep. We can kill that. It seems like his engine. We don't have to kill it immediately, though. So why don't we... You just send it back. I didn't draw any of the combat stat equipment. You could play out the bomb. I'm not sure what I'm putting the bomb to. We saw various sized permanents last game. What's up, wow? Eh. Just don't have Chewy. Do I have an 85-60-0 Chroma Green? But he's got a Ratchet Bomb, gross. Okay. I mean, I would Ratchet Bomb for zero here. If he gets up to one, it's not a big deal, but if he gets up to two, it's a big deal. Uh, does it suck if we lose all the Paradise Mantles? No. If he gets us to something higher, does it suck? Yes. Um, we'll lose Basilisk and then maybe lose the Greaves. So if I disenchant, he'll react by popping and activating Furnace Celebration. Oh, no, he doesn't have enough mana to use the Phyrexia score. Excuse me. No, it does count. Yeah, yeah. It does say Sacrifice, so it does already combo. Never mind. He does indeed get to use the two. Where's he sending it? 